Raising money, lots of it, sometimes an unpleasant fact of life in our political system. Without cash, how does a candidate campaign? But there's another side to this story. Who's really raising that cash? Where are they getting it? And where does it end up? Problem solver ML Ulrich here tonight with some unsettling answers to those questions. Hugh and Monica, conservatives have sent millions to candidates and causes who say they will stop wasting money in Washington. Well, that money made it to Washington all right, but a big chunk of it didn't get any further than the companies hired to raise that money. These Washington money men make their living off political contributions. Please. Oh, here's one I got the other day. Many of them from retirees and senior citizens who have no idea just how little of their hard-earned money I want your help to collect $100,000 ends up going to the candidates and causes they believe in. Are you preying on the elderly? <laughs> You're a good one. Well, no, no, seriously. For more than a decade, Scott McKenzie, Base Connect, and their partners have raised millions for candidates like Rocky Rutschkowski of Michigan. He's Rocky Rutschkowski. In Michigan, Base Connect collected $1 million to support Rocky Rutschkowski for races he never ran. It happens more often than you might think. Base Connect says it's not their fault that people who say they're going to run for office change their mind. The first time Base Connect raised money for a race Rutschkowski didn't run was in 2007. And his priorities are clear. Stop the out-of-control spending. Rocky says he didn't run against Senator Carl Levin because he was recalled to active military duty. Meanwhile, almost every cent Base Connect raise was spent on, wait for it, raising money. For the 2008 election cycle, Base Connect, Scott McKenzie, and those companies raised almost a quarter million dollars in your wow. name. Wow. Wow. And I was overseas. You're not aware of this? No, I, I, I do not believe that... Uh, we talked with them in 2008. Base Connect says Rochkovsky's memory is mistaken. And they sent me this fundraising contract signed by, you guessed it, Rocky Rochkovsky. Base Connect raised even more dough so Rochkovsky could have a rematch with Congressman Gary Peters in 2012. They hauled in more than three quarters of a million dollars. But Rochkovsky never ran. And almost all the dough ended up going to, surprise, Base Connect and their partners. We shut down that campaign. We were under the belief that we shut down the campaign. And they never asked you in 2011 or 2012, Rocky, can we raise money on your behalf? We told them not to for many times. Again, Base Connect recalls it differently, providing me these emails they sent to Rochkowski in 2011 and 2012, updating him on their fundraising efforts for the 2012 campaign. Here in America's heartland, Salem, Ohio, Ken Schramm is upset with Rochkowski. I'd call him a sleaze right to his face. Schramm says his contribution was supposed to help Rochkowski change Washington, not end up his spare change in some fundraiser's pocket. That seems like something the man who counts the money for Rochkowski's campaigns should answer for. Uh, hey, Mr. McKenzie, this is ML Elric calling from Fox 2 News in Detroit. Boy, I did hear what you had to say, but a lot of it was about how you don't want to talk to the press. Well, hello, hello. I don't think it's going to be quite that easy. Looks like we're going to Washington. I am a passenger and a ride and a ride. A ride through. Scott McKenzie? I'm M.L. Elric with Fox 2. We spoke the other day on the phone. <laughs> that was you? That was me. You should know better than to hang up on a guy from Detroit. We don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Good. You were involved in the campaign that raised three-quarters of a million dollars for Rocky Rakowski, yet he never even ran for office. How does that help a conservative cause? Listen to what Scott Nowicki has to say. You've raised money from his 93-year-old mother. He wants you to leave her alone. Will you leave her alone, please? But I never don't know his mother. You've taken a lot of her money. Mackenzie says he doesn't ask for the money. His longtime associates at Base Connect do. Base Connect says they target seniors because they are the ones who still open snail mail and, more importantly, write checks. Will you listen to Mr. Schramm? He's a veteran. Please. Don't you care? Apparently not. Ken Schramm is 82. Now there's a good picture of me. He's a Korean War veteran and he's dying of cancer. 
Even though his days are numbered, he says he still feels obligated to respond to the dozens of solicitations that arrive every day. Last year, I contributed more money than I made. Edith Nowicki is 93. She made millions in business in St. Paul, and Mackenzie and his partners are among the many people who want some of it. Actually, some days it seems like they want all of it. Not all of these solicitation letters are from Base Connect and Mackenzie clients, but they hit Edith up often enough that her daughter recognizes their names. What do you think your mother would say if she found out that somebody who didn't run for Congress told her he was running for Congress and cashed her check? I think she'd feel foolish and hurt. Hello, are you with Base Connect? I don't know who you are. I'm Evan Alfred Fox. We've come to talk about the fundraising that you guys do and why you target seniors. Can somebody explain to us why you target seniors for candidates who don't even run for office? We're just trying to give you a chance to have your say. Instead, they sent security. Hello, fellas. There's one way out of the building. Not through a window, right? Campaign finance experts say there's no law against raising money for people who don't end up running for office. And it's okay for fundraisers to pay themselves almost all of the funds they raise, as long as they fill out the proper paperwork. How would you feel if this was happening to your 93-year-old mother? 